Hello friends, good morning. Myself, uh, Mrs. Uh, M.S. Tuaskar, Madhini Dashram Shah and Mahatma Jyotira Phule Junior College, Rajputwadi. Today, I am going to make discussion on the section 4 from your 12th new syllabus. The section is general name of the section novel and in this section we are going to make discussion history of novel history of novel before i want to make discussion why we have to study this section or why we have to make discussion on the history of Norway. The important skill are to develop our listening, speaking, reading, writing, understanding skills. Means students have to develop their five skills. But two special skills are there. We have to develop with the help of this section. In your textbook, with the help of this section, we have or the students have developed two more skills. That first is the imagination skill and second one is to connect it, to connect the past with the present. The important thing is that with the help of this section, students are able to connect the past with the present. Okay, now just we are going to make or this in this section or in this first part, we make discussion or topics under discussion. The term novel. What is novel? Then second, the origin of the novel. And next one is the discussion on the novel and novelist of the 17th, 18th and 19th century. Okay, let's we see. Here, the novel is an important genre of fiction. Here, we are going to make a new or we are going to make discussion on new concept that is the fiction. Here, fiction means what? The fiction means work, literature, written or spoken work created from imagination. When some one writer or novelist creates his writing in form of literature that is called the fiction. And novel is a type of a fiction. And this fiction is classified into two parts. First one fiction is not real and second one is non-fiction means it is real. If you see the fiction that is not real, it included with drama, poetry, fairy tales, short stories and novel. Means we call that novel is a one type of fiction. And in the non-fictional, that is real, you see that the biography, autobiography and speech. So, we are going to make discussion on the term novel. Now, we see what is novel, the term novel. Here, the term novel, the 18th century, 
actually has gifted two forms to English literature. Means we can say that the origin of novel is in 18th century. century. There are two terms or two gifts. First one is periodical essay and second one is novel which we have to discuss now. Let's see the novel. The novel caught in the spirit of 18th century as it was the age of intellectual, sentimental and realistic plan. Today is recognized as the most dominant literary genre. Means here the novel is recognized as the most dominant literary genre. Means in the literature novel is most dominant. It have the speciality. Here a novel is a long narrative fiction or fiction. We see that fiction means you can say that uh, written or spoken writing in imagination. So, a novel is a long narrative fiction which describes human experience in a prose form. Means whatever experience human experience is there it is in prose form there are two two parts prose and poetry and novel is the one type of human experience in prose form let's see the english word novel here the meaning the english word novel is derived from the italian word novella which mean new means something new novella means something new a novel narrates a story describing with more details of time place nature people and their wishes and activities in the novel or the novel narrates a story what it describe? It describes with more details of time, place, nature, people and their gestures and activities. Novel make life easier to understand them in drama and poetry. Means here the important part that is the dominant part is novel because it is easy to understand comparatively in drama and poetry. Now the next the novel has a history of about 2000 years among the early precautions of a novel main top of the list. If you see the list of the liter various literary genre, novel is on the top of this genre. Though in the modern era, era means age, though in the modern era, we usually make use of a literary prose, the earlier the thread of the genre can be found in Virgil's Ecologues or Marlowe's Malt D, author or Geoffrey Chaucer's The Centivary Tales. Means first of all, the novel is in poetry manner. But after that, in the modern era, it is come into prose form. And the earlier thread of this genre can be found in Virginals, Ecologues or Marlowe's Monty D. author or Geoffrey Chaucer's The Centibury Tales. 
Jinji. Here you see the picture of this novel. In this novel, a tale of Jinji deals in the life of prince and his seemingly endless affair with various court ladies. Here you see the story of the novel is the life of the prince who having endless affairs with court ladies which is written by Murasaki Shikubuz. She actually she was a woman. She wrote the tale of Jinji. The European novel is often said to be to begin with Don Quixote by Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes. Don Quixote. Students, have you heard the name? We studied this story in 8th standard. Which is written by the European novelist, oh, sorry, Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes. We study in short form the name of the story that is Don Quixote. At the first you saw the picture of this Don Quixote novel. Next, in the 18th century, appearance of the newspaper and magazines attract, attract, attract a large number of readers from the middle class. In 18th century, people were not interested to reading the novel. They are interested or they are having the appearance towards the newspaper and magazines. And there are two classes are there, middle class and upper class. And the middle class people are too much attracted towards the newspaper and magazines. Middle class society had less interest in romances and tragedies which were admired by the upper class. Means people from upper class not interested to read the novel. But this middle class people are too much interested in newspaper and magazines. Newspaper and magazines. So, after that, peoples are, peoples from middle class society, they are too much impressed by the novel. Let's see origin of the novel. New point is there. The, in the 18th century, new literature was characterized by the spirit of realism and Denial of romantic features like enthusiasm, passion and imagination. In 18th century literature, the narrators or the poets or the prose writers, they are not denied, they deny the features of enthusiasm, passion and imagination. But they turn towards this new gender. That is novel. Thus an ideal foreground was prepared by all these factors. Now the change is there. Now novels change its pace. Novel originated as a literary form in England after 1740. In 1740, the literary form novel is originated was originated in 1740. Trade and commerce along with the industrial revolution. Have you heard the industrial revolution? What is that? We see that industrial revolution changed the preface of the world. As like the same, it changed the pace or it changed the trade and commerce also had given rise to the middle class. This industrial revolution 
make a two classes upper class and middle class and after 18th century or after 17th century after industrial revolution peoples change their mind people change their interest towards reading what see the realistic picture of everyday life and the problem of a common man depicted in the novel the subject of the novel is that what the everyday life and the problem of common people we saw the picture of everyday life and problem of common people in the novel this is a topic of 18th century novel the realistic picture of everyday life and problems of common people depicted in the novels appealed to the newly educated class was regarded them as a respectable reading material the subject of the novel is that the realistic picture of everyday life and a problem of a common man after that thus novel as a form was thus novel as a form was designed for both to voice the aspiration of middle class and lower class and meet their longings means after that after the industrial revolution in 17th century the novel as a form was designed for both to voice the aspiration of middle class and lower class and they meet their longing the subject of the novel in 18th century was the picture of everyday life and the problem of common people so the novel of 17th and 18th century was designed for the both to the voice the aspiration of middle class and lower class and meet their longing means the that deals with the common people's problem the spread of machine could provide a provide a time to educate educated middle class for reading and discussion about the book if you see if you see the subject of the novel that deal with the common people's problem so middle class people and lower class people too much attracted towards the novel in this slide you see that this is the statue of the first lady novelist her name was marasaki shikubus and here you see the don quixote which is written by spanish writer now we can turn towards the next part of this lesson in this in this part we make discussion on the novel and novelist of 17th and 18th century some novelist and their work novelist from england here you see the 17th and 18th century novel and their important novels students this is very important for you because in this point there are question on your board question paper in dramas in novel section first 17th and 18th century john bunyan that is 1678 his novel the pilgrim's progress second one is alpha ben 1688 oronoku she was one of the women novelist she is from england 
gland. Next one is Daniel Defoe. His famous literary work was Robinson Crusoe. And next one is Mall Flanders. Fourth one is John Swift. He's written a satiric novel, Gulliver's Travel. Here new concept is there a satiric novel. We are make discussion on the next part of this lesson when we see the types of novel. But just we are going to that is Gulliver's Travel was a satiric novel. Now next one is Samuel Richardson. His famous literary work or novel Pamela and Clarissa. This Clarissa is epistolary novel. We make discussion on the next part of this type of novel. Next one is Henry Fielding's. His famous work is Tom Jones and Joseph Andrew. Then you see the many Steel Wars novelist. Means Steel Wars means new novelist in 17th and 18th century. Charles Dickinson, Walter Scott, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Horace Walpole, Thomas Hardy, Wilkie Collins, and L.G. Wells. These are the novelist from England 17th and 18th century. Now we see the 20th century novelist. First there is E. M. Foster, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, Henry James, George Orwell, Graham Franny, D. H. Lawrence, William Golding and Anthony Burgess. Here friends you have to point out this novel is just it is very hard to the hard to remind this name of the novel is from 17th and 18th century but you have to remind it now immigrant novelist immigrant means from from other countries novelist in 17th 18th and 20th century and 19th century that samuel rasdi Samuel Rasdi, that is from India or India. Next is V.S. Naipaul, that is Trinidad. Third one, Kaizu is Hindi from Japan. Now, in the 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th century, the work written just only not the male right novelist. There are some famous female novelists. You see that the first woman novelist and here also the other woman novelist and their contribution for the English literature. First one is Frances Brunny. Her literary work or her novel Ivana that is novel from Manor. Then Anna Radcliffe Goethic novel that is Goethic Goethic novel. She wrote Goethic novel. Then Mary Shelley. Her novel is Frankenstein. Fourth one, Jane Austen and Brony Sisters, Emily and Carroty, The Wuthering Heights and so on. These are the woman novels. Now next, Jane Eyre. Then fourth one is George Eliot. Her famous novel Mary Anna Evans. It is a psychological novel. Next one is Agatha Christie. Hercule Pirate. Miss Marple. Her, which is written by Agatha Christie. Now next, the other woman novelist. Harper Lee. Margaret Atwood. Tony Madison and Elisa Walker. These are the novelists, woman novelists, especially the woman novelists from England. Now, this is the important point for you 
the indian novelist means just not only the other country contribute for the english literature by writing novels as like the same way indian novelist are there the first novel in english literature written is raja mohan's wife written by bankim chandra chattopadhyay later it was serialized in the indian field later it was serialized in the indian indian field what is the name of the first novel which is written in english literature in india that is raja mohan's wife which is written by bankim chandra chattopadhyay now next one is mulak raj anand r k narayan have you heard the r k narayan name yes very good that is the from prose section we made discussion on the first lesson an astrologer astrologer's day which is written by r k narayan r k narayan was one of the famous and important novelist also let's see raja rao were the major trio novelist and their novel and their work based on the nationalistic virtues and social issues as like the same the seven when you see the 17th and 18th century uh, issue of the novel that the uh, problem of the common man and here in india also in india also our novelist write the novel which is based on the nationalistic virtue and social issues of the common man now the following novelist change the current of india in english novel anita desai nayantara sahegal arun desai arun joshi and manohar malgaokar malgaokar these are also the novelist who changed the preface of the indian english novel means these are also important now next amitav ghosh vikram se and upamanyu chatterjee these are also the novelist who contribute for the indian english literature this novelist amitav ghosh vikram seth and upamanyu chatterjee adding a new features in indian english novel means they add something new in their writing and in their novel now next the dazzling performance by here dazzling means very uh, important and very vip performance which is given by samuel rasdi arvind adiga arundhati roy kiran desai and kiran nagarkar means they are giving the important of the dazzling performance in indian english novel or indian english literature okay thank you here we finish the first part of the history of novel students is it's a kind request to you please read the page number 173 174 also if you have a problem about this topics and have any difficulties please point it in your notebook and discuss with me and if, please try to solve the questionary from this first part okay thank you